Hi, this is Eric with Stormtrooper Ranch. Today I got the Hasbro Black Series Boba Fett. So I thought I'd do a little comparison on three different ones. I got the Rubies on the far over there, the Hasbro here, and the EFX here. Well, let's start with the Rubies. Rubies is what it is. It's a little kid's helmet for Halloween. All plastic. The lens is clear, so you can see right through it. Everything about this is just cheap. Um, I'm sure little kids love it. The paint job is terrible, but again, it's a kid's helmet for Halloween, and that's what it is. The a black series came today and it's pretty nice actually for a toy company again. A couple things I will point out that I didn't care for was the stem on the rangefinder is plastic, so it's kind of fragile. Um, the detail inside is nicer. I don't know that you can see it in this camera, but uh, the details inside is pretty nice. It kind of gives you the feel that um, what it might have looked like if it, Star Wars was a real world. You can see the lens. It's a little bit darker. And it's, it's darker than the, the um, Ruby's one, that's for sure. But it's still not super dark. The paint job is better than the um, Ruby's by far. I think this color is a little off. But I'm not a Boba Fett expert, so I'm not sure. Everything else about it is pretty nicely detailed. Um, I did find that when I put a battery in and I put the rangefinder down, that my lights and the rangefinder only light up a quarter of the time. I have to mess around with the connection every time I uh, do it. EFX, for the price, I was hoping for a little bit more, but to me the paint job is far superior than the one on the Black Series. Again, the Black Series is a toy company, so it's very nice for what it is. And uh, this one has a very nice paint job. Things I do like about it is it does have a metal stem for the rangefinder. A rangefinder works every time that I put it down. This is all aluminum cast. This side isn't, so this side is actually heavier. So when I put on the helmet, it kind of wants to lean because it's so heavy on this side. But if you look at the lens, it's just a little bit darker than the than the black series, but it's still darker by consideration. The inside all it has is some pad up in the top and some rubber padding covering a couple areas but the inside I think they could have done a little more detail especially for the price. This was around $300 for the black series at $100 or $103 I think I paid for it uh, was a better price but um, this is supposedly uh, cast from a screen used Empire Strikes Back helmet. So with that being said, if I had to choose between the three, um, I think I would go with the EFX, only because of the quality and the rangefinder. The Black Series is, again, very nice, especially for a toy company, but I wish they would have and a little bit better job on the rangefinder because to me it's a little bit fragile and I'm afraid it's going to break. But looking at it, the paint job on this one's a little duller than this one. This is a little more bright and in your face. So, um, but for a hundred dollars, you can't, I'll repeat that, you can't beat the price on this uh, Black Series helmet. It's very nice. I got two, one for myself. 
and for my son. I would definitely veer away from the rubies if you're a real collector. But for a kid, it's a great helmet. The only reason I have it is I collect all the makers of Stormtrooper helmets, and I'm trying to get uh, a few of the bubble fets only because my son likes it. So anyway, in finishing, for $300, this is a pretty nice helmet. It could have been better on the inside. Paint job is top notch in my opinion. But again, I'm not a Boba Fett connoisseur. The Black Series is absolutely fantastic for a toy company. If they would change their rangefinder stem, it would be even better. And I'd avoid the <laughs> rubies. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.